Welcome to NetSuite Chart of Accounts Upload. We have done so many data migration projects and helped so many clients and made lots of mistakes. So we want to share those mistakes with you so you can avoid them and make your lives easier. So in this session, we're going to review the data migration process, give you an overview of it, look at the list or the types of data that we have to upload, and specifically narrow in on the chart of accounts, including a demo within NetSuite so that you can see the steps. So the data migration process, there are five steps. One is to identify the data to be migrated. Two is to prepare the CSV file. Three is to upload the data in NetSuite. Four is to resolve the issues. And five is to validate the data. We've condensed everything down so that you can repeat this. And as necessary, when you find mistakes, you're going to go back to the previous step or you may have to start all over. So here are the five types of data elements that you're going to upload. The first one is the chart of accounts. Second one is the employee list customer list, vendors list, and then lastly, fixed assets. And we've separated this because there's a particular sequence that you need to do this in. The first one is the chart of accounts is always the first list to get uploaded. And then you can upload employees or customers or vendors. And fixed assets is its own creature, its own set of data. So we've separated that for a different training session. Let's focus on the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts would be the first data to migrate into NetSuite. Since it's the foundation of a good accounting system, it's really important to migrate the chart of accounts correctly. Once transactions are in the general ledger account, the GL account cannot be edited. You can merge it, you can do other things, but it's so much more cumbersome. So we're going to go through in more detail the chart of accounts upload compared to other uploads that we will be doing. And the first one to keep in mind is identify all the parent and children accounts. Those show that any amounts posted in the child account would automatically be shown in the parent account. Basically, it rolls up into there like a fixed assets account. You may have a general fixed assets account, and in there you may have software, furniture and fixture, building, all three of those accounts then roll into the parent fixed asset account. The second one is identifying the correct type of GL account. Ensures that the system will be working correctly and provide a simpler report. So whether the account is a, a revenue account, an income revenue account, expense account, whether it's a posting account or not. Second, you want to identify the appropriate currency for the GL account. And the US dollar is usually for the US. Now in NetSuite, you'll notice that US dollar is denoted as USA. That's a NetSuite bug. We know that USD is, is the correct denomination. Number four is identify the subsidiary for each GL account. The subsidiary for the GL account could be the parent account. You could include all the children of the parent account into that same GL. The advantage of using NetSuite is being able to have the same chart of accounts or same chart uh, GL account numbers across all of your subsidiaries. The fifth one is to identify whether the GL account is a summary account. A summary account cannot be posted into. Basically, it adds up all the sub accounts into it, but you can't post directly into that. So number six is to upload the chart of accounts. You need to do it in two files. The reason is that, that NetSuite can't post a, to a child account if a parent does not exist. So just think you can't have children unless you have a parent account. So first you need the parent account created and then the children accounts to roll up to it. Seven is that to assign one GL account for each bank or credit card account. The system only recognizes one GL account for one bank or credit card account per subsidiary per company. This means that you can have three bank accounts for one subsidiary 
uh, subsidiary number one, but those three bank accounts cannot be used by subsidiary number two. So that's often why you may see lots of bank GL accounts for banks because each bank account links to a GL account. And if you have 10 bank accounts and in two subsidiaries, even though they're exactly the same uh, bank accounts or with the same bank, you still need to have separate GL accounts for those. And number eight is to keep an updated chart of accounts mapping file to ensure the accuracy when you're migrating other data. What happens over time is that you will do an upload and then you add an account number or you fix something and you forget you forget about it. And the next time when you come back to upload more data, you find out that there are error messages or it's not routing to the right account and it's because you've made little tweaks. And so we found that keep an updated chart of accounts mapping file is really important for you. So here is an example of what we call in the chart of accounts, a parent account and some children account. As I mentioned, you can have a fixed asset parent that's on top and you need to have the parent account first. And then you can have in 1601, 1602 and 1603, each of the child accounts. So it could then be software, it could be furniture and fixture, it could be buildings, it could be land. Then all of these roll up into the parent account. And what we're going to show you next is the actual NetSuite demo so that you can see what it looks like in NetSuite. So after you log into NetSuite, go to Setup, Import Export, Import CSV Records, select the import type accounting, record type is chart of accounts, choose parent file, Click Next, click Add as your option, click Next. All the fields should be mapped correctly because the naming convention between NetSuite and Excel is similar. Click the pencil icon next to Subsidiaries and choose Internal ID under the reference type. Click Next choose map name or enter a map name and save and run. After you do the upload you will get a successful confirmation in the green box. So to view your job status click on the import status link and now you will see the status that there's one record imported successfully. You see a history of all of your various upload files. That's it for the chart of accounts upload.